Hey y'all, and welcome to Music in Pajamas. Get ready for our Black History Month extravaganza. And that's where we're gonna be talking about the motherland of Africa, the great land of gold and diamonds and technology. All of that is in Africa. And then we're gonna talk about America and how some of those uh, we have black inventors here who have created different things that we need. So we're going to just have a good time singing, dancing, and learning about our black history. Because black history is American history also. Because we are all one. So get ready. Music in pajamas. Hey y'all, I've been trying to explain to the children that Africa is not only what you see on TV where people living in huts and people don't have clothes. Honey, there is greatness in the African continent. I'm going to show you. Africa. This you? Is this you? Is this you? Mm. This you too? Mm-hmm. Mm, look like that's you too. Looking mighty nice. Mm. Africa. That's you. Mm. That's why I try to tell them, honey, y'all have to research for yourself. Don't just look at TV and believe what they tell you on TV. Africa is it's almost just like the Wakanda that you've seen in the movie. It's so much technology and greatness there. Mm. Hey y'all, we gonna start in the motherland with this wonderful dance. Now this is in Swahili, but in Africa, there are so many different languages because remember, Africa is not just a country. Africa is a continent like America. America is a country inside of North America, but Africa is a continent with so many countries in it just so they have different languages just like in America we have we have uh we have the United States of America but then we have Canada in North America and then sometimes you know you might have different languages so we're going to start with the language this Swahili song and it's kind of like what we did last week how we did Che Che Kule so it'll be the same thing. Ikanda is my head, my slumbe, shoulders, sifuba, chest, no kalo, my waist or my middle, my dolo is my knees. And then instead of doing ankles, we'll do my toes. So my dolo, my shwadne. Ikanda, Maslombe, Sifuba, No Kalo, Madolo, Namashwane, Madolo, Namashwane. So, either way, you can do your knees like this and then touch your toes, or you can pick up your feet like that. Either way. So, let's try it again. Ikanda, you say it. Maslombe, Si fuba, no calo, <laughs> madolo, na mashwane, madolo, na mashwane. Good job. All right. Now we're going to sing it with the music. Y'all ready? Here we go.
All right. If you did the dance, you know what you're supposed to do. Good job. If you messed up a little bit, it's okay because you can do better next time. <laughs> now it's time to move on to some artwork, y'all. Now I'm not an artist. Mr. Demi not good at drawing at all, but I try. So today we're going to make a family crest. And it's all just telling me about your family. What is your family about? What about your family history do you know about? Who are you? Who is your family? You know, I could say I'm the Dimbys from Florida. And the Dimbys from Florida are known as creative artistic people because we sing and we write books. That's what we do. That's what our family does. So my family name, Dimby, whenever you hear the name Dimby, you know it's going to be some creative people. So that's what I need you to tell me. What about you? Put your last name here, your last name, your family name, and then in the box, you're going to make this, we'll draw this little shield. It's called a family crest. And on the sides, you can put like, some people draw animals or lions or something like that, a family animal. Or then you can put like things about your family history, something about you. Then something about that your family loves to do, something that you do all the time. And then you can draw where you're from or put where you're from. I just drew, uh, wrote it because I can't draw. <laughs> I try my best. I'll do better next time. All right, y'all. Let's get on to this artwork. Get on in there. Hey. <laughs> We're going to draw our family coat of arms. So, ready? Remember I told you this is just telling me who you are and what your family is about. It's like a shield. So, you draw two scoops like that. And then, you're just going to bring it down, all the way down. Like a heart. Almost like a heart. A backwards heart at the top, I guess. Uh-oh. And bring it around, bring the neck around, around like that. Like that. And then, you're going to go. And some people might, might put rings on the side. I'm going to put music notes because my family is all about the music. So, that's what I'm going to put on the side of mine. You can put wings or... You know, whatever you feel, you talk to your parents and find out what your family is about, where you come from. So, here we go. We'll divide it into a few sections. I'm only going to do four. And like, you can color it anything you want. You don't have to make it black. So, um, my family, uh, I'm going to say medicine man. I don't know how to do that. But we did, we did a lot of, my family did a lot of medicine and healing. Um, so, I draw like a medicine bottle, I guess. Um, what's the sign for being a doctor? Hmm. Oh, like one of them things. A stethoscope. Yeah, my family was known as the people. If you had a problem... You go to my family and they can tell you how to solve it and fix it. So that was one thing about my family. Then I'm going to put something about me because something I love to do is write books. So that's who I am. I'm a teacher and an author. So I'm going to write a book in one. Because that'll go with me forever and ever. You know, people can always come back and say, oh, what did, what did Dimby do? What about the Dimby family? The Dimby family is writers. We write books. And we are people who help heal other people. Mm-hmm. What else can we say? Think of something else. Talk to your parents and maybe your parents can help you come up with some of these things. Like who you are. This is what your family shield is about. Who you are and what you like to do. I'm going to say cooking and eating. Because my family, we love to eat and cook together and laugh and carry on. Most families like to do that. So that's something good. But my family pride itself in cooking. That's a piece of corn, child. I can't make no corn. <laughs> corn on the cob. <laughs> uh, what else we like to cook? Pizza? Nah, we don't hardly cook no pizza, but it's easy to draw, so I'm going to draw it. <laughs> Lord, I can't think of, but we cook a lot, so my family, is a, music is our main thing, we sing, but I'm a writer, so that's something personally about me, that this is my family history, we are known as, you know, the people that come from medicine, and we do medicine, we like to eat, that's what my family like to do, now this last box is going to be where I'm from, so I am from, my family is African American, so I wish I could draw Africa, the continent, I'm not good at it, I ain't going to do it, so I'm going to just put Africa, so we are African American, so all of, all of our origins come from Africa, but we are from a place in Florida, my family really is from Florida, so I'll draw, I can't draw Florida either, so I'm going to just put Florida, <laughs> Florida and Alabama. That's where my family is from. So, on your coat of arms, you can see that you can color it any kind of way you want to, but you should just put in there the main thing that your family is known for. This one you got to talk to your parents. What's one thing in history that your family was known for? Something you like to do, something your family like to do, and where they are from. Hey, y'all. Who going to join me in doing this next week? Now, I need some people to join me in Black History Week, Black History Month Spirit Week. So, on Monday, 
you gotta wear all black and make a TikTok wearing all black. Tuesday, I want you to wear all the colors of the Pan African flag. That's red, green, and black. So wear them all, mix it up. Wednesday, I want you to take a picture with something invented by a black inventor. Thursday, dress up like your favorite entertainer or book character. Friday, wear your sports jersey or just pin their name on your shirt like I'm probably going to have to do because I don't got no sports jersey. Y'all pray for me. Who going to join me? I need y'all to join me in the Black History Month Spirit Week. Hey, y'all. Y'all know anytime I do an extravaganza video, that means it's going to be a little bit longer than normal. So this is probably a two-week lesson. So you can watch it part of it at the beginning of the week and then watch some more next week or you can watch it all in one sitting but i want to tell you this story and i don't even know where it came from it was it's just a story i heard online and i found it online but it doesn't say the author but it says what if there were no black people in the world this will help you with your african um the black history spirit week so you can remember a black inventor this is the story of a little boy named michael who woke up one morning and asked his mother mom what if there were no black people in the world well his mother thought about it for a moment and then said son follow me around today and let's see what it would be like if there were not black people in the world mom said now go get dressed and we will get started Michael ran to his room and put to put on his clothes and shoes. His mother took one look at him and said, Michael, where are your shoes? And those clothes are all wrinkled, son. I must iron them. But when she reached for the ironing board, it was no longer there. You see, Sarah Boone, a black woman, invented the ironing board. And Jan Mats Matslinger, a black man invented shoelacing machine. Oh, well, she said, please go and do something about your hair. Michael ran to his room to comb his hair, but the comb was not there. You see, Walter Sammons, a black man, invented the comb. Michael decided to just brush his hair, but the brush was gone. You see, Lydia Newman, a black woman, invented the brush. Well, this was a sight. No shoes, wrinkled clothes, hair a mess, even mom's hair without the care, hair care inventions of Madam C.J. Walker, a black woman. Well, you get the picture. She was a mess too. Mom told Michael, let's do our clothes, uh, do our chores around the house. Then we'll take a trip to the grocery store. Michael's job was to sweep the floor. He swept and swept and swept. When he reached for the dustpan, it wasn't there. You see, Lloyd P. Ray, a black man, invented the dustpan. So he swept a pile of dirt over to the corner and left it there. He decided to mop the floor, but the mop was gone. You see, Thomas W. Stewart invented the mop. Michael yelled to his mom, Mom, I'm not having any luck. Well, son, she said, let's finish washing these clothes. Then we'll prepare a list for the grocery store. When the wash was finished, she went to place the clothes in the dryer, but it was not there. You see, George T. Salmon, a black man, invented the clothes dryer. Mom asked Michael, go get a pencil and some paper so we can prepare our list for the market. So Michael ran for the paper and pencil, but he noticed the pencil lead was broken. Well, he was out of luck because Hun Love, a black man, invented the pencil sharpener. Mom reached for a pen, but it was not there either because William Purvis, a black man, invented the fountain pen. Mm, they not having any luck. They made their way over to the car and found it just wouldn't go. You see, 
Richard Spikes, a black man invented the automatic gear shift. That's what you use to make the car go. And Joseph Gamble, a black man, invented the supercharger system. They noticed a few cars that were moving, that were moving, running into each other and having wrecks because there were no traffic signals. You see, Garrett A. Morgan, a black man invented the traffic signal. Well, it was getting late, so they walked to the market. They got their groceries and returned home. Just then, they were about to put the milk, eggs, and the butter away, but they noticed the refrigerator was gone. You see, Han Standard, a black man, invented the refrigerator. So, they just left the food on the counter. By this time, Mike noticed he was getting mighty cold. When mom went to turn up the heat, what do you know? She couldn't because Alice Parker, a black woman, inv invented the heating furnace. Even in the summertime, they would have been out of luck because Frederick Jones, a black man, invented the air conditioner. Mm, mm, mm. It was almost time for Mike's father to arrive home. He usually takes the bus, but there was no bus because the precursor to the bus was the electric trolley invented by another black man, Albert R. Robinson. He usually takes the elevator to, from his office of the 20th floor, but there was no elevator because Alexander Miles, a black man, invented the elevator. He usually dropped off dropped off the office mail at a nearby mailbox, but it was no longer there because Philip Downing, a black man, invented the letterbox mail drop. I mean, the mailbox. Huh. And William Berry invented the postmarking and canceling machine. So they was having trouble, y'all. Mike and his mother sat at the kitchen table with their head in their hands. When the father arrived, he asked, why are you all sitting in the dark? You know why? Because Lewis Howard Latimer, a black man, invented the filament that goes in the light bulb. Mike quickly learned what it would be like if there were no black people in the world, not to mention if he were ever sick and needed blood, Charles Drew, a black scientist found a way to preserve and store blood, which led to his sharing the world's first blood bank. I didn't even know that, y'all. People are like stained glass windows. They sparkle and shine when the sun is out. But when the darkness sets in, their beauty is revealed only if there is light from within. That was an awesome story. So remember, so when it's time for us on Tuesday next week for you to take a picture of an invention that a black person made or something like that, you can use that story to help you. There, I didn't, there are so many inventions from black people, from African-American people. So I hope y'all enjoy that. All right, y'all. I don't have nobody to help me today with our warm up, so y'all have to listen to Mr. Dimby voice. <coughs> me, 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 me. <coughs> we gonna try our best. <laughs> but today I wanna say, I am the best. I act like the best. So you try it with me. Let's try it. We're gonna sing one note. I, I. That's probably your voice right there. I am the best, I act like the best. But you don't have to change your voice like I did because your voice is right there naturally. I, I. Match the voice to the piano, not to Mr. Dimby. Remember, don't try to sing bass like Mr. Dimby. I am the best. 
So you try to sing up there where your voice is. I, here we go. I am the best. I act like the best. Breathe. I am the best. I act like the best. Breathe. I am the best. I act like the best. I am the best. I act You should be going to head voice, breathe. I am the best. I act like the best. Breathe. I am the best. Good. Breathe. I am the best. You keep singing, keep going, breathe. I hope you in your head voice. Good job to those of y'all who made it up there. Mr. Jimmy didn't do so well. <laughs> I'll do better next time. <laughs>right y'all that was good i'm glad y'all warmed up because we are the best because we act like the best but today's song is gonna be a little different it's gonna be i am great and there is greatness in me because after you talk about your family after you talk to your parents about your family and you realize that you have so much greatness in you you know, even if your family, your family could have been working in the fields, but they are great. Your family name could have been whatever. You are great. You are great and there is greatness in you. So let's sing the tune. Listen to the tune. I am great. There's greatness in me. I will do my very best in everything. Head voice. I will try and try until I achieve. I know I'm great. That there's greatness in me. Okay. So let's sing the tune again. You t This time you sing with me. I'm going to put the words up there so you can see them. Here we go. I am great. Two, three. There's greatness in me. I will do my very best in everything. I will try and try until I achieve. I know I'm great, mm -mm -mm. for there's greatness in me. All right. All right, y'all. Now, it we going to sing the song all the way through. You sing it with me. But at part of the song, I'm going to say, I can. And then you just tell me what you can do, what you're good at. I can ride my bike all day. Or I can read. On a second grade level, I can read on a third grade level. I can read 65 words a minute, whatever you can do. So whatever you good at, you just say it. So I'll ask you three times, I'll say, I can. And whatever you say, then I can. Whatever you can do. Because I'm great. I mean, I know I'm great. There's greatness in me. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready? Let's sing the whole song.
Here we go, y'all. Mr. Jimmy gonna try. <laughs> I'm gonna try to not, not make it sound like a church song. <laughs> oh, Lord. Here we go. I am great. There's greatness in me. I will do my very best at everything. I will try and try until I achieve. I know I'm great. Y'all sing with me. I am great. There's greatness in me. I will do my very best at everything. I can try and try until I achieve. Because I'm great. Your turn. I can tell me what you can do. Good. I can. I can tell me about it. Good. I probably can do that too if I try. I can. Y'all better have been singing. Mm, go ahead on. <laughs> but if you wouldn't, you know, that's better next time. I hope y'all will record y'allself singing this and send it to me. That'll be fun. Send it to me. Send it to me. Send it along with your videos for Black History um, Spirit Week. If you're wearing all black on Monday or you wear your Pan-African colors on Tuesday or standing next to an invention by a black person on t Wednesday or if you're dressing up like your favorite character on Thursday or on Friday if you got on your sports jersey, you can sing that song and send it to me, especially the I can part. I want you to tell me what you can do because I know there's greatness in you. All right, y'all.